Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today I wanted to talk about a knife. I wanted to talk about a knife that I actually purchased five months ago, almost six months ago. It's been half a year, and I haven't made a single video on this specific knife for six months. I am, of course, talking about the Three Rivers Manufacturing Shadow, and this is the Merlot Micarta version. Uh, I had reviewed this before, and that's one of the reasons why I waited so long to make a video on it, but the first one that I reviewed was the Black G10 version, and man, that was good. That was so good. It was really good, and you guys probably know that a lot of people agree with me because every time they come in stock, it's they, they sell out like hotcakes. And the irony is, is that the black G10 version was given to me by TRM and I gave it away. I used it in a giveaway. And so it was so good that when I had the opportunity to buy one for myself, I did. I bought this one, the Merlot Micarta version. And there are absolutely no regrets at all. Oftentimes, it's kind of funny. I get criticism. Uh, I get called a, a knife and EDC bro. Like that's some sort of insult. I'm a knife enthusiast. You know, if that is an EDC bro, it is what it is. But a lot of people love to throw shade at reviewers and content creators like myself uh, because they say, well, you get a knife in and you have it for, you know, 10 seconds and you're already giving your opinion on it. You're already hyping up the crowd based off of what? You don't use that knife. You don't carry that knife. What do you know? And I get it. You know, there's a, a bunch of shills in the content creation game. I'll call it a game. And so it's really easy to say, well, you were given that knife for free. You must have not really, you know, liked it. You must have just wanted to get either more knives for free or you're trying to sell something through an affiliate link. I don't actually have any affiliate links with TRM at all. I don't have a dog in that fight. The black G10 version that they gave me, they gave me uh, to give away. They had seen me do a grail or garbage review on the TRM Atom, which was a, a loaner, a review loaner from an audience member. And they really liked it and they wanted to support the channel. And uh, so shout out to Three Rivers Manufacturing because, you know, they, they could just do what a lot of companies and manufacturers do. They could just reach out to the really, really successful, popular channels. And while this channel is definitely gaining some steam, the channel is doing really well. At the time of recording this video, we're at uh, 6,600 subscribers and some change. We'll probably be at 67 here soon. Um, by the way, guys, if you enjoy my content and you haven't done so yet, check to see if you are subscribed. And if you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy the content, uh, hit that subscribe button. But TRM routinely helps out smaller channels. They help out, uh, you know, what I would like to call the front lines of the knife community as far as content creators are concerned. Because their knives aren't cheap. They're in high demand. I don't necessarily even think that they need someone like me to give a positive review to help them sell their products. They're an American made company and they're so damn cool. The knife is, is so good that I was given one and I still turned around and bought another one after I gave away the one I was given. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to say. What makes this knife so good is purely the quality of the manufacturing. The fact that it's American made, check this out. There's there's no 90 degree angles on here, and there's no evidence that there ever were. <clears throat> there's also no evidence uh, of anything. Look at this. You see this milling on the Merlot micarta on the edge there, that spiral milling? Those are rounded. That, that is almost spherical in nature, and it leads to some extremely good ergonomics. The blade is whip thin. The sliciness of this knife, oh my goodness. Here, Look, here's a fresh piece of paper. The sliciness of this knife. We're gonna, we're gonna try this live. There's no cuts in this video, guys. There's no editing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is a knife that was meant to be used. And when I've had discussions with uh, TRM, they, they they want people to use their knives. They want reviewers to use their knives. That's why they help out so many small channels and say, you know what? Go ahead. Use it. Use it. Keep it. It's great. TRM is doing stuff as an American-made company that we don't see American-made companies do. Spyderco isn't reaching out to you know, members of the knife community and saying, hey, review these knives because they know they don't need to. You know, Medford isn't doing that. Chris Reeve isn't doing that. They, they don't do it. They don't have to. Um, and they just don't do it. But a company like TRM, Three Rivers Manufacturing, is, and it's really nice. It, it's nice that they support the community. It's nice that they give smaller channels the opportunity to showcase something that they might not otherwise have the opportunity to showcase. Even if you can't afford it, it's the matter of availability. They're doing something right. And it's not just that they make the knife here in the U.S. They actually own the titanium company that makes the pocket clips. Now, in my initial, in my initial review of the TRM Atom, I said that I didn't necessarily think that the pocket clip was that great. And when they reached out to me, because they reached out to me, they said, we're a little confused because we put all this work into the pocket clip. And then they went into, the de- into detail telling me how they, you know, they, they finish the, the pocket clips in house. Uh, everything is, is bent and molded in house. You know, the, every detail makes a difference and the pocket clip is very good for a user knife. It's not flashy. It's not a 3d milled titanium pocket clip, but it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be aesthetically pleasing. It's, it's meant to be a pocket clip that functions extremely well. You see how deep that is? You see the flush screws? You can wear thick car hearts, and this will slide in and out of the pocket. No issue. No issue. It, and the extra attention to detail on the micarta. There's not very many manufacturers out there, American, Chinese, Taiwanese, or otherwise, that actually try to add contouring and try to add extra detail to handle scales. TRM does. That's cool. A, a lot of manufacturers and, and designers think, well, you don't need to because, you know, there's already a lot of definition in the micarta. And they're not wrong, but it's nice. It's nice to see this chamfering. It's nice to see the contouring in the scales. It's nice to see the, the little spiral patterns that happen when they round out, literally round out the corners. There is not even a chance that this could be anything but comfortable in the hand and a knife that's meant to stand the the test of time. I didn't do a review of this for six months. The main reason is, is that, uh, the, the birth of my firstborn happened right after I bought this. And so it wasn't something that was super important in my mind. I was focused on other things. Um, and it's, it's a knife that has been so much fun to carry it's very good as a user knife and it makes sense check out the width of that edge bevel that is the factory edge bevel and because of this super slicey blade geometry with this whisper thin blade it's going to have amazing edge retention you know i'm not the biggest fan of 20 cv in most cases a lot of that has to do with the blade geometry that follows Manufacturers love to lean on 20 CV and M390 and say, well, it's, you know, like the knife steel properties make it uh, the super steel that has the most amazing edge retention. The truth is, is that 20 CV and M390, they have decent edge retention, but that's not really what the steel is known for. The steel is known for actually being amazingly corrosion resistant, but as far as being wear resistant, and I'll use that word, wear resistant, it's actually only marginally better than S30V. So what makes the biggest difference is actually the blade geometry. Dr. Laren Thomas has talked about this ad nauseum. He's talked about how, uh, you know, with a proper heat treat, edge re- with a proper heat treat, wear resistance, there we go, wear resistance is is going to be vastly improved by the blade or and the edge geometry 
And so it's one of those things where people get it twisted. They want to believe that their steel will do all the heavy lifting, but it all comes back to the design. Now they did use the axis style lock and they used that lock because they knew that it was a very strong lock design. It's very easy to manipulate. It's very easy to index. It's very easy to use. And it's a lock that is going to withstand quite a beating. Now, do they suggest that you baton with this knife? No. If you're batoning with a TRM anything, I got to ask what's going on in your head. You know, if you really need to get into something, use a fixed blade. You know, if you really need to chop down a tree and you don't have an, a hatchet, use a fixed blade. And if you don't have a fixed blade and you don't have a hatchet and you're trying to chop down a tree, that's a whole nother issue. Have the right tool for the job. This is a pocket knife. It's going to take care of your EDC tasks. It's going to be very reliable and it's going to fit in your pocket without issue. I don't have anything but good things to say about this design. This is one of my favorite designs. It's one that I will never sell. It was in my pocket the day uh, my firstborn came into this world, and it's only ever going to leave my collection uh, when I give it to them when they turn 18. And so this knife is not just a really good knife. It's also very special to me. I believe that knives have stories, and that's what makes them so interesting. It is not necessarily how cool they are when they're shiny and new, but when they're old and beat up, and uh, you get to pass them on to the next generation. You get to pass on the stories. You get to pass on the things that matter in life. And maybe I'm just rambling at this point, but I wanted to do this episode differently. You'll notice that there's no editing involved. There's some awkward spots in this video. I wanted to do a, a truly honest, open, clean video showing what it's like when there is absolutely no cuts. There's no sound effects. There's no music. It's just me and my honest opinion. And if that's something that you can get behind and you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And even though we made waves this last year and we tripled, quadrupled what we expected to hit as far as channel growth, we're not anywhere near close to reaching the end of that 100,000 subscriber journey. So please consider joining me. And by the way, guys, if you want to watch more awesome knife and EDC content, go ahead and click on one of the videos that pops up next.